document templates are very important. So most of you being in the service business uh, are going to have some sort of terms and conditions uh, and or contract information that you want to get into your proposals. So settings, document templates is where you do that. So company info and document templates are probably the two key places you need to visit before you actually send out a proposal to anyone. So in the document templates, you can see over on the right that each document template, uh, th there is a document template setting for each of the different documents. So currently Estimate Rocket generates estimates, work orders, change orders, invoices, and receipts. So those are the five documents. And each of them can have different settings. So one really key setting, for example, is on a work order. You'll notice that on an estimate, it's set to use the group options for all the different columns that will appear on the, on the document. Uh, however, on a work order, many of our customers don't want prices to be displayed. So you'll notice on the work order document that the line item unit prices, line item totals, and document totals are set to always hide. And what that does is it just means that there's never going to be any prices on a work order. So that way you can send them out to your crew and uh, if you don't, if your crews are not, uh, are not privy to your pricing information, uh, that, will, that will prevent them from seeing them. Um, okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to look at after you've set your columns for each of your items, and it's very important to note that the, because the settings for each of these document types are different, each time you make a change on any of the documents, with any of these documents selected, if you change the terms or any of the column settings or intro or contract, you always want to make sure and click on the Save button to save the settings for that document type. They are all, all of them are independent. So I'm going to go back to the estimate document type. And this little preview window simply gives you an idea of what this is going to look like. So it's just an easy way to see, you know, a quick preview of what the document's going to look like with the settings that you have. So in this case, we've used several of the, of the tabs. So on the estimate document, in the intro section, and the intro section comes after the client and our company headings, but before the line items. So you can see where it says job location here in the little preview. Well, hopefully you can see it, it's probably pretty small. But that number, that uh, job location and job name, project name will appear in that section before the line items. So that's handy to know. And then the other sections that we have are the terms. So the terms are going to appear after the line items in your project. And so the terms normally would be considered the acceptance terms. And acceptance terms would be generally pretty brief, uh, just telling, you know, documenting that the customer is agreeing to the terms of the agreement. And one other thing to note if you're using online acceptance is this client signature block. So the client signature block is what enables the customer to be able to actually sign the documents online. So terms, again, appears after the line items. And then there's another section called contract. And the contract section actually comes after the photos. So you're capable of having photos in your Estimate Rocket projects. The contract section, anything in that tab, will appear after the photos. So contract and terms really behave and do the same function. Differences where they appear in the, in the project document. So depending upon how you like your contracts or your documents to flow, you can either use the terms or the contract section for your terms and conditions. Um, groups, I'll say for another subject, you, groups are primarily going to be used in the item list now, not in the document templates. And then finally, CSS is a place um, where we can help you if you need to do customizations beyond uh, what the standard uh, estimate rocket settings are. Things in terms of you know tweaking certain aspects of your proposals to look the way you want them. So, so that's uh, document templates. And there are videos that go into a little more detail on each of these sections on our website at all, and on, and on our Estimate Rocket YouTube channel as well. So it's really helpful to check out some of the additional video uh, resources that we have on these various topics.
So you can pretty much search on many of the of the setting the names in these settings uh, menus in any of the menus and be able to get either a video or at least a um, a document on you know how that particular function works.